In back segment tonight, Virginia Congressman Jim Moran, a liberal guy, attended a town meeting in Arlington, Virginia on Monday night. At that meeting, he was confronted by a woman who does not like Moran's pro-gun control stance. Why are you pro-choice when it comes to self-defense for women? Joining us now from Washington, Fox News analyst Kirsten Powers. So this is interesting, turning the pro-choice phrase around mm -hmm. to promote gun protection for women. What do you think? You know, I, I don't really get it in terms of why that would be pro, a pro-choice thing. I think that we look at the issue of gun control and say, what is the best thing for society? And that, in my opinion, I'm probably in the same place as the congressman, though I think he should have answered her question. I, I don't know why he didn't answer it. But that we have to have some laws that restrict guns a little bit. I don't think it means we don't want to protect women or to have women protect themselves. I just don't think you need an assault weapon to protect yourself. All right. But I mean, Moran is a little bit more than the assault weapons. And uh, it was a valid question. In it, and, and it was posed in a provocative way. I, don't, I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is, there's no comparison toward uh, choosing <clears throat> what to do in a pregnancy and choosing what to do, um, you know, in, in protecting yourself. That's, that's not a, that's apples to oranges. However, yeah. however, um, women will be put at a deficit in some places if, like, for example, Chicago would ban all handguns. Well, mm -hmm. if you're a woman in Chicago and you want protection, particularly if you live in a bad neighborhood and you can't have a handgun, your, your deficit is, is much higher than a man would be. And so I think that's what the woman was getting at. You know, that's her opinion, but I, I'm a woman, and I don't have a gun, and I feel safe. So yeah, because you I, live in a, in a swanky neighborhood. No, if you lived in the south I, side of Chicago, you wouldn't feel safe. That's not true, and I've lived in dangerous neighborhoods before, very dangerous neighborhoods, and I never had a, a gun in those neighborhoods. Uh, it's quite, even though my father wanted me to have one. Um, and I, I, Well, that I, was your she, choice, but, I, a, but another but woman is, may choose to want to have protection. Well, but she's going to have to choose in a way that, that comports with the law, and I just, and I, I, you know, I don't think, I think that within cities, if they make the determination, um, I well, lived in New York City for a long time. I think they're putting women in more danger handguns. than men, just by the, I, the physicality oh, so of the situation. What would be my motive in that situation, Bill? Like, to why protect would I want yourself to from, put, from no, somebody no, 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 who might but, do you harm. Why would I not care about women protecting themselves? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you I don't mean, seem I, to be equating the fact that it's easier for a woman to protect herself with a gun. Yeah, well, because I don't really think that you necessarily have to have a gun to protect yourself. I didn't yourself. say you have to have it. There's other things you can use. But you can use pepper spray, for example, it. and you're much less likely to kill a standby. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't say you had to have it. I said it should be a choice to be able to protect yourself should you choose, I like see, the but woman you know in Virginia. I, also, I reject this whole choice thing. I reject it when used for abortion. It's a silly argument. I told like, you the abortion thing was not was okay, not but valid, even now, but this I, idea I'm that people dead should... wrong on a, not allowing women to have a choice to protect themselves. I think you're dead wrong, pardon the pun on that. And, and I, anyway, I got to go, go to Ashley Judge.